Welcome to the E-Block Common Area. It was redeveloped in about 2014. It has these fantastic student common areas with a lovely view, great kitchen facilities. And this is used by students, lunchtimes, recess, and also in our famous tutorial sessions. My name's Keith Turnbull. I'm the learning area leader of maths. Why study maths? Well, at a basic level, numeracy is like reading. You're at a huge disadvantage without basic numeracy. At a high level of maths, well, everything we build or make or use in this world is based on maths. A NASA vehicle was destroyed because in the planning, someone didn't notice that one person was using metric meters while another person was using imperial measurements. As well as teaching here, I've taught a lot in secondary schools. So I understand how in secondary schools, there's this idea that everyone is doing the same level of maths, which is just not appropriate. One of the best things I see about college maths is you can do maths at your level. If you've missed a bit of school, missed a bit of maths, or you struggle with maths in grade 10, then we have a level of maths called workplace maths, which is perfect for that. If you've got a C in grade 10 maths, then we recommend level two foundation maths. If you're interested in a level three math subject, you need to be getting Bs and As in your grade 10 maths curriculum. Above the level three subjects, we have level four maths methods. To do this subject, you need to be, again, getting strong grades in your school's version of Maths Methods Foundation. Different high schools call this different things, but it is basically needs to be the 10A curriculum with some calculus and probability. And then you can go into Math Methods 4 in grade 11. If you do that, then there's an extra subject called Math Specialised, which is available in grade 12, as long as you have achieved Math Methods 4. So all math subjects at college level get you 15 points for your TCE and the numeracy tick. Now it's important that you choose a math that is at your level, otherwise you run the risk of getting too bored and then not performing to your potential. So choose carefully based on how you've gone in grade 10 to choose that math that will best suit you.